These two jars you see are holding a cabbage salad. It's very healthy. It's not coleslaw. It's a little more like sauerkraut, but a lot healthier than sauerkraut. It's only got a little bit of salt. And um, it's full of enzymes and lots of probiotic things going on in there. So I'm going to show you how to make this. You will need a couple of these jars like you see here. I think one, the large one is a quart size and the small one is a pint size. I got them in a craft store where I could buy them individually instead of a whole box of 12. And I also use um, a food processor, but you could use a large knife and a cutting board. All right, let's get started. To work with this cabbage, I'm going to use a food processor and then fill a large bowl. And what I do is I take a cabbage leaf, a whole leaf, and just tightly wind it up. And I pull out the centerpiece here of the food processor and stick this in there and put it in, yeah, one leaf at a time, but that's okay. Then when I'm done, or when the bowl gets full, I open it up, all these little pieces are fine, and dump it in a bowl. Now I've already done a whole bowl full, but I'm still using leaves with the same cabbage. And then what you want to do is take some Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt and give it a good salting. Toss it a bit. And I'm just demoing here so that you can see what it looks like shredded. Oh, and by the way, I'm not using the slicer with the little holes. I'm using the slicer with the one big slice. That's how you shred cabbage. Otherwise, you're going to have lots of little pieces with the one that has a little hole. So use this one that's <laughs> the finger cutter. Um, use this one. All right. So now I'll show you how you're going to put it into the canning jar. I have two different sizes of jars here. Uh, I should be able to tell you how big they are, but I don't know. But um, you can tell by my hand, maybe if you go shopping. Um, how big they are. I want to say quart and pint, quart and pint, but I'm not sure. So when I stuff the cabbage into this big one, it's wide enough that I can pound it down. The thing is you want to get as much air out of it as possible so I can stick my hand in here. But with this little one, it's not wide enough to stick my hand in. So I'm going to take the bottom of um, a wooden spoon that I have and I'm going to just pound it down. Or you can take the wooden spoon side. It's, you know, look around your house and decide what you have. If you wear a bracelet, like I am, it makes sense <laughs> you punch it down. Just get as much air out of it as possible. Now, it doesn't matter if the cabbage you're using has lots of dark green leaves or not. Mine just happened to have that because I got it at the farmer's market today. And it just had a lot of green leaves on the outside. But you also want to save some of the leaves because you're going to have to fill up this spot with folded leaves. And you're going to also put filtered water in here. And one time I had it too close to the top and as the water sat in it for the five days, it, um, it overflowed. <laughs> You don't want that either. So, you just want to have a little bit of space. Eyeball that a little bit. So, yeah, a little bit of space in here. So, now what I'm going to do is, oh, I got some in here. I'm going to pour water in here and let the water fill in into all the little spaces. Keep filling, let it go down. And then what I'm going to do, I save some of the outer leaves, and I'm not going to use this thick center part, but I'm going to cut all that off. 
but I'm going to tear the leaves into halves or thirds and then fold them up tightly and put them in the top. Okay? And so you'll want to do this with several leaves. And here's another one. Again, I'm going to pull some off, fold them up. So definitely save a few leaves before you start. And keep doing that. Get it really tight so everything gets. You don't need the water to come to the top, but you need the leaves to come to the top. as close to the top as possible before you put the lid on. Okay, I'm going to give space for a little more in the big one. Fill in some of these crevices. You don't have to be big pieces, but when you're ready, after it cures for five days, you'll easily pull these out. You won't eat these. Okay, so now I think I'm ready, and I don't need any more water. And I'm just going to put the caps on top. These are the ones that come in the two pieces. And then I'll show you next how I store them. I label the jars with today's date and then five more days and put the date that I'm going to um, decide that they're done. So it needs five days to sit in the jars on the kitchen counter, not in a cold place and not, not in sunlight. So away from sunlight and relatively warm um, if you need to wrap towels around them. I put them in some kind of a pan just in case they bubble over and leak and I put too much water in them. After the five days they're ready to eat, but after that they should go into the refrigerator. Certainly after you open them, put them in the refrigerator, but after five days on the counter, put them in the refrigerator. Eat a half a cup of this a day and it will give you some really good enzymes and some good probiotic things to happen in your stomach. I add a little light dressing to it. I know some healthy people wouldn't like that, but I'll make a very light dressing of apple cider vinegar and maybe a little honey and mix that in with it because I don't like it plain, but that's me. So that is how you make this cabbage salad.